So I'm going to use the Copley serial adapter, SER USB to RJ11, USB on one side, RJ11 on the other, to communicate to the drive over the serial port and hyper terminal is trying to charge money. So I'm going to use PuTTY. And you can download PuTTY for free. It's an open source. And uh, let's see how to get it going. So I saved the settings here, so I'm going to load them. But uh, my serial port's on COM4. The drive powers up and talks at 9600 baud. So using the serial interface. For the terminal, I'm going to do carriage return line feed. So check these two boxes here, implicit line feed in every carriage return so that you can see what's coming up on the, on the terminal. Um, what are the other settings here that are important? Ah, COM4, 9600, N81, so turn off, turn that off. So none, standard N81. And uh, we should be able to open up the COM port to the drive. I got it connected to the drive and the power is turned on. So I'm going to do uh, get from RAM 0x24. And that tells me the mode of operation of the drive. Now, in parallel, I'm going to use CME and a Copley CAN adapter with an ADP NK connector kit to go from 9 pin to RJ45 and a terminator. There's a terminator jumper in here too, so properly terminated CAN at both ends. So let's take a look at connecting to the drive over the CAN. So CAN network, uh, Copley 1 megabit, 0. So the drive's at one megabit and has a node address of one. I turn the switch to one and then reset the drive or power cycle the drive to get it to come up with node ID one. So one in a pre-op state. And now CME can talk to it. So let's keep an eye on the control panel there. And uh, we're just going to affect the mode of operation. You see it's in a CAN mode, so it's waiting for a CAN master. Set RAM 0x24 to 0. That is the mode of operation disabled. Set RAM 0x24 to 21. 31 for steppers, 21 for servo. This is in a position program mode. And it's all enabled. I got all green lights. Um, I did some moves using the CME scope. So this sort of checks out the mechanical system. Profile tab, distance of 80,000 counts with a trajectory of 1,000 RPM, 100 for XL revs per second per second, and D-cell. So once you have a system mechanically checked out and you can make some moves, uh, this is a relative trap move, and you can see profile velocity accelerates, runs at velocity, decelerates, stops, and the following error settles into zero after a bit of time. The important thing is these values, uh, when you save them to flash, they load into RAM and you can use them from the, from the prompt. So I'm just going to clear this and hit record. And uh, I'm enabled. That's good. I'm going to send a T1 command. That's a trajectory update. And that caused a move. So I moved another 80,000 counts. And the scope traced the, the new move. Uh, I've also done some, some homing in here. So here's home to an index. So I can issue the T2 command and it starts doing the homing. If you issue a T0, it'll do an abort. Uh, all this stuff is documented in the help all documents as key programmers guide. And there's a good section on position loop stuff here. So we'll take a look for it. Section 3.4 position mode. Trap moves, S-curve moves, T1, T0, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here's the mode of operation parameter. 0 is disabled, 21 is servo, 31 is if you have a stepper motor. The profile type that I'm doing is uh, 256 relative move trap, but you could 
put in a profile velocity move and keep running at a constant velocity all day, or you could do absolute moves. Uh, CA is the commanded position, that's the 80,000. CB is the velocity in units of 0.1 counts per second. And you got 8,000 counts for one rev, so that doesn't even make sense. So what I'll do is I'll just read the parameter and I'll know that my trajectory that I tested, 1,000 RPM, is equal to some value. Get, get from RAM 0 XCB. Oh, get from RAM 0 XCB. There. So 1, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 is equivalent to 1,000 RPM. If I want to go twice as fast, uh, I double that value. If I want to go half as fast, I cut it in half. Set RAM 0 X CB to 666, 666. See, 2,000. Uh, now, when I issue a T1 command, uh, well, hopefully we won't hit a, a speed limit on this. Donodonomy and uh, trace cancel, hit record, waiting for trigger. Oh, I got to hit enter. So this moved uh, the distance that was uh, I had configured here, 8,000 counts, and it did it twice as fast. We didn't actually hit 2,000, but you know, had we gone a further distance, we could have. Um, so we can get from RAM 0x C8, so 256. Um, we can set it to a different type of profile velocity or, or make an absolute move. Get from RAM 0x C A, that's the distance. So I could set it, set RAM. 0XCA16, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then T1. And so this made a further distance. Oh, I didn't hit record. Let's try that again. T space focus T space 1, T space 1, T space 1. Enter. There we go. So uh, this this should have moved. Oh, uh, I changed the wrong thing. Let's go back and read the manual. No, oh, CA is the distance, right? Okay, so CB, CC, and CD. Get from RAM zero XCA. I have to have focus. Get from RAM 0x CA. Ah, yeah, that's in there. I'm not sure why it's not going further. CA, position, command units, RAM and flash. Well, that should be what it's doing. T space one. And, oh, yeah, there it is. That made the right distance. 40,000 plus 16,000. Um, so there it is. And uh, let's do a constant profile set in RAM 0 XC8 equal to 2 which is the profile velocity mode for C8. So it should just keep running and running. Hit the cord. T space one. And it's constantly spinning at 2000 RPM. And uh, we have to stop it. Uh, set in RAM zero. X C B equal to zero issue T one and so I just gave it a command for zero speed and it decelerated and stopped. Uh, so you can see that there's full control over the ASCII port. Um, 
standard N81 using, using putty. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, so the homing, you could do limit switch out to index. This one, this motor has an index wired, move in the positive direction. First at the slow speed, and then it goes fast after it passes the index, it turns around and comes back. I can set an offset from that homing distance. Uh, if I have limit switches uh, at either end, I could uh, set some positive limits and negative limits so that I don't actually have to hit the limit switch. It just set stop at the soft limit, but you got to set a decel rate for that. Um, and then you can test the homing and then you can, you can save it. Um, this will save it to flash. And um, yeah, let's see what happens if I reset the drive. So now my putty get from RAM 0x24 mode of operation 24. Yep, so I'm in a CAN mode, uh, value is 30. And uh, again, to make a move, set in RAM 0x24, 21, P1, whatever was stored in memory. I had saved 8,000 to flash, 1,000, 100, 100. You can watch that again on the scope, hit record. So, um, the settings for the scope, the trigger was already set up when I was making my move, so that was easy. Make it look easy. Uh, I think that's it.